Period lovers, this is Katrina Rainsong. Welcome to my 10 minute tune in, tune up. This is the same warm up sequence I use in my sensual movement and pussy Pilates workshops. You can do it anytime you need to quickly release tension or just get into your body. It's great first thing in the morning or before conscious love making. It's really my favorite way to calm my nerves and feel juicy. Enjoy. So we're going to start with the heart breath. Close your eyes, bring your hands over your heart center. And to start to breathe in and out of your nose slowly and deeply. This is just taking a moment to find your center and connect with yourself. Next, moving into head and neck warm ups. Drop your head over your shoulder. And then slowly roll your head forward, bringing it around to the upper shoulder. And then come back down again. Don't take your head back. Just keep that forward roll. If you feel any tight spots in your neck, head straight and roll your shoulders back. Your shoulders actually reflect your hips and pelvis. So by opening our shoulders we actually begin the process of opening that and opening the girdle and sliding tension. So you're gonna inhale, squeeze your shoulders up. Inhale, squeeze, exhale. So this is my earth and sky stretch. As you can see, I'm very pregnant in this video. I'm actually 36 weeks. So it uh, shows that anyone can do this. So you're going to have your feet wide. Inhale and bring your arms overhead, sweeping the sky with your fingers, and then bend the knees and come down, touch the earth if you can. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, bring the energy down to the earth. Inhale, fingers high. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring it down. 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 Inhale. Down. Next, we're going to move into shimmy and shake. A lot of people don't realize how healing shaking your body can actually be. It resets your proprioceptors, and it just tells your body, hey, let go, it's fine, just relax. So anything that feels good to you, bounce, shake, swing your arms. Don't worry about looking silly. I do this in the airport on long flights, and I don't care if people look at me. It's fine. It feels good, and that's all I want. Next, the forward fold. This is a wide leg forward fold, so make sure your feet are about hip width apart. Hinge at the hips and come forward. I'm actually going to turn to the side so that you can see the spinal alignment here. So you're hinging at the hips, and you're going for as flat of a spine as you can. If you need to have a little bit of softness or a slight bend of the knee, it's totally okay. That actually helps belly right now. And then once you're down, you can let your arms swing. Just let gravity kind of tug at you. You can shake your head, releasing any tension or stress out of the crown of your head. Just let it go. And then from here, we're going to do what I call the stripper shimmy. So I'm in a forward fold, and I am just shaking my boots. Yes, I am. So you're just going to shift your weight from one foot to the other. You can even bounce your knees a little bit if you want. And we're getting that same nice um, shimmy. And this actually helps to release your sacrum. And it really helps my low back. To come up, bend your knees and roll up so you don't get dizzy. And next we're going to move into yoga squats. So you bring your hands together, heart center, bend the knees, and squat down. 
reach your inside of your legs. And then you can move into your Bring your hands to the floor and you're going to come into all fours. I'm actually going to turn again so that you can see my spinal alignment. So I'm starting with a flat back, my neutral spine. And cow pose, you're going to inhale, lift the head, lift the hips, let the belly sink. Exhale, roll your spine up like an angry cat. Inhale, chest melts forward. Exhale, you can even squeeze the tummy here a little bit. You can see the exercise. Pose. And breathing with each movement. You can follow me. And then we go into head and tail circle. So you're circling your head and tail bone. Actually, you're lubricating the spine, just opening things up, opening the hips. Make sure that you hit both directions. Keep your shoulders and your jaw relaxed. And from here we move into bear pose, it's basically free movement on your hands and knees. So you can stretch your side body, you can rock back and forth, whatever feels good to you. And then from there, slide down into child's pose, toes together, knees apart. Sink your chest towards the floor. You can put your hands up on fingertips to get a deeper shoulder stretch. Next is the straddle stretch. So, legs are wide. For some people, just sitting up straight like this and having your hands behind you to support is enough to stretch. And if that's a big stretch for you, that's fine. If you want to go deeper into the stretch, you can make spider fingers with your hands. Place them behind you and start to gently press yourself forward. Or you can walk your hands forward and go down as low as you like. I'm not going very low right now since I have a person in my tummy. Make sure that you're keeping your chest lifted so your back is straight. And we're opening up the legs and hips. You can also kind of rock and shake your legs a little bit to help open things up. You can sway your body just to get that nice juicy feeling. You open up the side body, ribs. I also tend to do a little bit of hip shimmy things to do. I think any time is a good time for hip shimmies. Next is the pelvic tilt. So this is not a very large movement. You're going to try to move your pubic bone towards your face, keeping your back and your hips on the ground. Follow my hands. You can see my alignment. Tilt and release. Tilt and point forward. Release. My back never leaves the ground. Tilt and release. Now for bridge pose, we are going to lift our hips off. So make sure that your hips are steady, your feet are grounded, and push your feet and lift your hips. They don't have to go super high, even if it's only an inch, it's okay. And then you slow it down. Lift. Make sure your shoulder blades are under your back. And relax. And lift again. You can squeeze your glutes here a little bit. And relax. And here we're doing the swinging bridge, as I like to call it. And this is hip circles in the bridge position. So you've lifted your hips and now you're circling them in the air. And this is really nice for opening up your back and your pelvis. When you're done, you can roll to your side, take a breath, and then use your arms to push yourself back up. And that's my 10 minute tune in tune up. You can do this at any time you feel the need. Make sure to breathe and smile deeply afterwards. And let me know how this helps you and affects you in your life. I'd love to hear feedback from everyone. Thanks for coming and playing with me today. 
have a beautiful rest of your day.